taking advantage of this very high area, the feed, and definitely losing its red coloration to high competitors. So I think it's found a pretty nice spot being on top of this peak and being mm -hmm. red color. He's probably thriving. Well, they are probably thriving. He did a great job finding a place to live. Yeah. My, first, my first ever sample was an anemone, and I crushed it. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? In a bad way. <laughs> Crushed her. Yep. <laughs> Not in a good way. Yep. Yeah. That's going to happen first time. Got the sample though. Just came up in the shape of an hourglass. <laughs> Can you drag the nasty? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. No worries. Soon I'm going to start scanning for for possible rocks. Uh, Derek, there's a oh, not yet. auto not center yet. feature no, no. on that. I was just okay. saying. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure we have it on this version, but I know we have it on Jason's <laughs> version. Just a. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So when you look at the detrital snow, is that correct? I just turned it on for Thank you. Yeah. Does that kind of indicate the current? The yeah. path of the, okay. Look, the current must be super strong over here. A lot of these, the manganese crush looks polished. Are you talking about on like the left side? Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we got a little eel. Or I think it's an eel. I've I see it too, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. It definitely like is eel-like, whatever it is. What are these little yellow? This, uh, oh, what, what yeah. are these little yellow guys? It almost oh. looks like it's flow on top of flow, maybe. It's like Take a quick zoom in. Take a photo. These guys look very quick young, zoom too. There. We'll get a zoom. I don't know if we can be quick about it, but we'll get you a zoom. Oh, is that, oh, what is cool that? Tiny. Oh, a little single, like, anemone. <laughs> that is so cute. The colors are so cute. It kind of has a really nice aesthetic appeal, oh, yeah? yeah, with that coral over and I the love it. anemone under it. Oh my gosh, it's Is that a coral, so the yellow? The yellow is definitely a coral. It looks like there's a lot of young ones of the same species. Yeah. There's, there must be some very good, strong signaling for that species to settle here. Well, we'll have to come back in 250 years and see how they do. <laughs> Oh, some sea stars. Another big sea star. Oh, wow. That's, that's a big a mega. One. Yeah. Boy, this iris is... Uh, mega star. Jumping. Doesn't this lava look newer? Or have less sediment Maybe on it? Maybe less sedimented, yeah. And all of those holes that we're seeing, Hannah, is that where gas escaped? Sure, I mean. Um, I'm not sure. Hannah, does this look like newer flow to you? The less no, sedimented I stuff? No, I think, I think the current has really just been super strong and polishing what all these that? rocks. There was an eel. An eel. Where? Yeah, we passed it already. Oh. Oh, by the way, my middle name is Eel Backwards. Lee? <laughs> yeah. That is so beautiful. Yeah. It looks like the sun and tangle. The asterisk of the sea. Would you like a zoom? Sure. Yeah. Sure, why not? So since it's sitting on this rock, do you think its mouth is going to be facing outwards, like towards the current? No, they don't no. sit like that. Mm -hmm. No, they're not. They don't sit there and catch stuff. They um they crawl across the ground until they find stuff to eat. Oh, so is this maybe just resting? Or 
maybe yeah. there's something Or he there just, he froze and we shone our flashlight on it. So cute. Caught in the act. It's probably stalking the sea urchin. Oh. <laughs> These rocks are really pretty. They're, they're polished all right. Okay. Especially since we, we went through a lot of boitriodal textured rocks. So to see this is really cool. It just shows you that we're getting like closer and closer to the to the peak where the yeah. current is probably stronger on it. I guess it would have been funnier if I'd said that he was stalking a crinoid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's stalking that little barrel star right there. <laughs> All right. So the rocks are very much like the Pahoy Hoi flow that you see on, on the Hawaiian Islands, like a very smooth type of um, lava versus the a, a which is really like more of that kind of angular, crumbly kind of That's the line. most symmetrical sea star I've ever seen. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's perfectly We're overlaid. Perfect. Um, Looks the, like there's uh, another leather star off to the right, too, back where it was. I think I was comparing po Hoi Hoi with, no. um, with sheet lava. Oh. I do, love, I do love that word, though. There's so many oh, chinoderms on top of here. I'm just trying to... Wait, no. So, um, back in the 90s when I was in middle school, my mom was a uh, Jason Argonaut teacher, um, or a Jason curriculum teacher in, for after school, and I remember her... They were in the Galapagos that year, and I remember her teaching us about Pahoy Hoi Lava. Wow. That's really That's cool. cool. Whoa, That's that... cool that you remember that. Right. <laughs> well, it's such a unique word. <laughs> yeah. So is I think that... Is it only found in Hawaii? Or do they classify Hawaii Hawaii universally? Wait, I'm sorry. What... I think your mic might You're be a little quiet. off your mouth. Yeah. Okay, let's try go. that. Can you hear oh, me better? Oh, I can hear you better. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, so I'm wondering with Pahoy Hawaii, is it a classification that's just uh, in Hawaii or universal? Universal. It's universal, yeah. Based on a obviously Hawaiian word named, I'm sure, for Kilauea uh, flows or whatever was active, probably the Kilauea. Yeah, because I think yeah. Um, yeah, I think they even use that classification for other flows that do not come from Kilauea. Yeah, like they'll use that like for Mauna Loa. Yeah, but they'll use Pahoy Hoi to describe like Mount Etna in Sicily and that sort of thing too. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just become a, a volcanic geology term. Very cool. Oh, another one. They're everywhere. The rat tails, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Another, looks like an eel pout, maybe? Eel. Oh yeah, little guy. Either little, little one or far away one. Oh no, that's another rat tail. Uh, ah, and a shrimp. Shrimp right I next to it. <laughs> and from the front row, I gotta throw another shout out to Karen, the love of my life. <laughs> How are you Hi, doing Karen. there, Karen D'Amelio? Yeah. Hey, Karen. And St. Cloud, was it? What? Is that Karen? And she's watching from Falmouth, Massachusetts. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, nice. Where's Falmouth? Why don't I don't know where that it's is. It's near Woods Hole. Oh, uh, okay, okay. It's um, I think it's on the mainland, like on the way to uh, on the way to Cape Cod. Okay. Uh, Woods Hole is a village in Falmouth. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yep, yep. That's right. My New England geology is fading from memory. Been six and a half years since I've lived there, so. Miss Malia, so the ah. Uh, uh, you come down a little bit, Tito? I'm sorry? You come down a little bit? You got it. Go, yeah. The ah uh, uh, is a high volumetric rate, so that's moving faster, you were right, than the hohoi hoi. So, to like kind of compare, the sheet lava goes faster than the pillow lava. Oh. So, there's a comparison. Thanks for checking that out. Yeah, no. Uh, 
you're going to bring up something geology that I don't know, I'm probably going <laughs> to try to figure it out one way or another until I Good can. for you. Is she going to pull out her binder of uh, notes from, yeah. from her, all of her classes? <laughs> really? I, I saw, this is totally random, but I saw on Facebook they were selling uh, like throw rugs of um, Flora's lava. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you could put down a lava floor on your living room Honestly, floor. Honestly, that sounds... <laughs> That sounds amazing. Yeah, like, honestly, I would buy that. I would, I would buy that immediately. <laughs> there's um, a show based on that, isn't there? Yeah, there yeah. is on Netflix. Yeah, that show is hilarious. It, I love it. It's so, they, they definitely take it uh, as not seriously as they should because it's like, they still can win, like it's still competitive, but they're, it's not serious. And it's very funny. I just remember those three bro twin, bro no, what is it? Three triplets? The three triplets. They've oh been on God. like every season. Yes, yes, they're yeah, they're so funny. And I, uh, I like how dramatic they are when they fall in. They're like, no. Yeah, and I always wonder, like, when it cuts, like, how do they get out? And, like, I don't know. If it's really that deep. No, no, no. They come back up. They just don't show us that. Yeah, I know, but I want to <laughs> see it. But sometimes they'll cut yeah. to after they're done and they're completely dry. And I'm like, what happened? How oh, yeah. How did you get dry when I literally just saw you fall in a, a second ago? And the, <laughs> it confuses me. That's one thing me and my sister, we laugh about. They might have filmed some of that stuff before they, they actually did it. No, really. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to figure out. I went down a rabbit hole of yeah. looking at the floor is lava lore and what goes on. <laughs> so who actually played that when they were children? I did. Oh, yeah, oh, I did yeah. too. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Jump from bed yeah. to oh, yeah. sofa to wherever, oh, yeah. climb oh, yeah. the walls. <laughs> yeah, mom was like, Stop ruining the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> like, put the floor's lava. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Die? <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are your options. <laughs> we'll jump on the furniture or we'll burn to death. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, probably from that lounge. Guy. Oh, what is that? Yeah. What is that? That looks like a, looks like a giant like a mushroom wheel. wheel. I'm gonna guess yeah. and say octocoral. Octocoral. I'm gonna say mushroom coral is a really big Damn one. It. Oh, so yeah, it could be a big mushroom coral. Yeah. So here's a lounge. Yeah, say lounge some, to van. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just to make this whole conversation about the floor being lava working to your advantage <laughs> or to your favor, I have that T-shirt that says uh, 4,600 million years ago the floor actually was lava. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> I want that's that shirt. So great. I want that shirt. I'm just, I'm just going to repeat that for anybody listening. Uh, Val just said that uh, she has a shirt that says 46 million years ago the floor actually was lava. <laughs> I love it. I, I, she probably said that on SPL, but I repeated it just in case. <laughs> oh, that's wow. so good. Oh, oh, that is definitely one large mushroom coral. It's like if you connected it, it'll be a perfect sphere. It looks like it's got a really, really small one right next to the rock, next to it. Going in again? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, you that small one, like, see where you're pointing, at, pointing out. Yeah. Who knows, it could also could, be uh, a bud from it. It could be a clone. So it's separating from the main body, but I don't know much about these species. Looks like pasta. That so that's looking great. about, what, 30 centimeters across, according to Sako? Sure. 24. Um, we have Sako also agreeing with me that the little orange one splitting off from it is probably a clone. All right. All right, we're ready to move on wherever you guys are. How far are we from the um, saddle? From what? From the saddle. Uh, we're literally almost there. Almost there. 30 so meters. that's what I was about to say. Oh, is that a big crab, too? Okay, uh, it's right there. 50 meters. Yeah. So we're going downhill. Oh, wow. 
Lots to look at. Good job, Oh. <laughs> you lost it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Weird, I'm not getting the option to react. Sad. Apparently there was a red Swifty or something oh, that we it. missed, but it's too late for us to go back. And so many corals, I didn't even see it in the first place. I had it covered by the list of people. Oh. Okay. Too dark. Sebastian and Hannah, can y'all share what will happen with the samples when we get our ROVs back on deck? Um, sure. Um, first off, we will start with when the Hercules is on deck, we'll go through a special protocol for cultural. I'm sure Malia can expand upon that. Yeah. Yeah, so we've been implementing cultural. Native Hawaiian cultural protocol into the ROV dives. So prior to them um, immersing in the water, we do a chant called Eho Mai, which was composed by um, uh, Edith, Auntie Edith Kanaka Ole, a very esteemed um, Hawaiian practitioner, Hawaiian language expert, and Kumu Hula, a Hula expert. And basically we're asking um, for permission to enter the realm of Kanaloa, the god of the ocean, and um, asking for knowledge that what we seek in the depths of the ocean can be revealed to us. And so we're, we're really um, uh, significant that Hawaiian Cultural Protocol are part of the research that occur, occurs on the um, Nautilus. So as the samples are collected on the seafloor and they're brought back up onto the Nautilus, we also institute cultural protocol as well because in that protocol is a sense of gratitude. So always in the receiving of these gifts from the ocean, these are really gifts. Um, they don't belong to us and we receive them with gratitude and with humility, understanding that they have the potential to expand our awareness of the deep sea. And so um, culture protocol is just a really important part of everything that we do on board. And um, we're just grateful for the um, Kanaka O'ivi, the Native Hawaiians who have been really pushing um, for this and um, the weaving of indigenous knowledge systems into science methodologies that really creates a really deeper understanding of our natural environment. So we are just happy to be working with the Nautilus team and the staff who've um, you know made the space yeah. for indigenous people to um, you know take their rightful place as the leaders and the guides um, of their sacred indigenous spaces so that is what will happen when the samples come back up we'll receive them with gratitude with cultural protocol and then uh, sebastian can expand more on what happens after that yeah oh, so um we're probably gonna start looking for a rock because it looks like there might be some pillows that we can grab so whenever y'all want to just land you can just land because it looks like there's there's enough all right yeah. just stop uh, yeah well I guess we can stop are we going downhill yeah, what? yeah. whenever Y'all are ready because again, it looks we're like we're still going we're downhill surrounded. slightly. Okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd let uh, Adelanta catch up to yeah. her and then stop. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we're almost at the saddle. Actually, we're actually a bit downhill will, still. I think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But we're, yeah, we'll keep on our out. For I just yeah. Perfect it's, rocks. Yeah, we're starting to see that it's it's changing now from uh, the low bait to slash cheat flow. All right, so keep going or. Oh, you can keep going. Okay. <laughs> down slope. I think we might want to alter course a bit here. We're gonna. I don't want to go down this slide. All right. 
so maybe we'll stop and call in a ship move more in this direction. Possibly yeah, because yeah, this is looking promising in the direction you're turning to. It's uh, two one like two one zero. What's our off bottom time? So you said low baits to flows? About eight minutes. Sorry. You said it changed from low baits to flows? Or? Oh, no, no, no. I was saying it was more like low bait slash yeah. sheet, and now we're seeing pillow. Okay. Sorry. No worries. So guys, we have, we have about eight to 10 minutes left on bottom, so we do want to... We can get some of this. We're gonna wanna grab, grab a rock and probably yeah. skedaddle. Yeah. So yeah. if you wanna pause here, Hannah can Yeah, I can definitely. Can pick. All right. Oh, yep, no. good rocks here. Yeah, we do. Bridge. Well, yeah. Definitely, Val. Let me know if I'm picking a good one that you think. Oh, the stop, bike please. seat one there looks pretty promising. Thank you. Ooh, well, can you circle? Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, or, that was me talking, so I oh. don't know what I'm talking Who's about. Who's me? Uh, I like that one. So, oh, that, oh, that's you. That's big. <laughs> I like this one. This one, there's this one. Val, which one do you think? I can't see the telestrator, so I'm going to trust you. Okay. <laughs> but once we have it in uh, here, she can spot, be like, man. no, not that one. Maybe that yeah. one? I don't know. Does that one look like... No. I think it's stuck. I think, I think this one's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Right here. That is so cool. You're gonna have to wait 10 seconds. Sorry, oh, yeah. I just got it on. All right, all right. I can. And sample's gonna go in. Oh, oh yeah. That's gonna so go in starboard of, oh, aft. This one. Yeah, that's a good one. This baby right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is this. Yes. Oh, wow, that is a good angle. Yeah, look at that. That one you can't circle. And I'm sorry, this is going to go on the sample tray. Starboard. Starboard F. Starboard Fox Trot I. And we don't need to rotate it. We'll just take it. Okay. We don't have anything floaty in there, right? Just rocks. We don't have anything. There's nothing floated in there. Uh, it's a sample 39. Yes, sir. Awesome. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the whole you can mountain do it. comes you sliding down. Oh, it's down. bigger than we thought. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's all right, yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's all right. I'm It'll okay fit. with that. Assuming it fits. It'll fit, I think. Yippee. Okay, the still camera's not any good anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Uh, looks wow, decent are you to seeing me. this? Does it this looks look okay? To... okay? She's talking. Oh. It looks okay to me. Okay, cool. Got all some right. weathering, but that's expected. Okay, awesome. I was just making sure it wasn't that glassy part. The, the kind of rusty orange. Thank you. Yay. So yeah, so what we're gonna do with the rock samples when we get back up, mm -hmm. we're gonna take them out. And Foxtrot is the um, aft yeah. outboard. Aft outboard, I believe. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! All right, yeah, that totally fits. Thanks, like guys. It fell right through the bottom. Thank you. <laughs> Sample 39 confirmed. Let's go home. <laughs> And we can move for another, I don't know, five, eight minutes, but... Yeah, we don't need um, to pick anything up. Yeah, because I think, it, yeah, we can go at like five after. We can start coming up. How about, how's that sound? Okay. Yeah, we still got to get configured. Yeah, it takes about five, a couple minutes for us to get all stretched out and ready to... Oh, so you just want to do that now? I think that would make the most sense. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think so. All right, dive over. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for your work on sampling right. and 
navigating and zooming. Yeah, especially being Hercules at that last rock, trying to get it. Didn't realize it was stuck under that that other rock. Just a little wiggle. Yeah. <laughs> a little wiggle. All right, our recovery heading is gonna be. You think so? Like something like where we're at right now? Yeah, that's looking All pretty right. good. Then I'll drive one or three one five. Oh, if they huh? want to watch us Actually, recover it, they can look at the, what do we the think? other. Uh, you can ask the bridge channel, if they want to align right? more directly. What? Okay. Like that channel? Uh, that's okay. I'll, at least like three one five is close enough, or I can go west. If, I'm so. sorry. What are you asking? Like. West. If people wanted to see how we get Hercules up, they could look at the deck cam. Is that possible? Well, um, Ed has to push so different cameras to, oh, okay. to the website. Okay, okay. To bring okay. The I didn't wrap know. Out. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, we always stream the recovery. But yeah, he'll stream the recovery. Oh, okay, cool. 290 anyways. Or? I'll drive a little bit out quick. Because I know Under. some people ask questions about what do they do to, to lift Yeah, we Herc show up. that. Awesome. Cool. Well, if that person's still watching, there, there you go if you're really curious. Mm -hmm. Just the minor part of the ascent that they'll have to sit through. There's always a part of the dive where we see the uh, mermaid and the uh, unicorn. <laughs> So like, nope, no zooms, got to come up. Yeah, yeah, that's a mermaid riding a unicorn, right? Yes. As they're all yeah. the time. Do it. <laughs> Side saddle. Bridge nav. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, yeah. Did you say there's a shark? Where? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yay. Bridge nav. Must have a third eye. Yep, I'm just confirming oh, all one. stop oh, right yeah. now. We're setting up for uh, beginning Chico, to a Atlanta, bring the uh, auto up hitting. Off bottom. Sebastian RVs off bottom. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thanks. We are good we? to ascend. Good. Yeah. Where's where's my auto stick there? Oh, oh, oh there it is. It's on the yep. side. Mm -hmm. All right. Auto auto winch. And anytime you're ready. All right. Start coming up. Now you have velocity somewhere, do you not? I do. I'm utility, utility beach. Hitting 20. about 20, still rising. Yeah, 22. So do we need both those off bottoms or? Uh, I just know that you log off bottom, and that triggers some data engineering activities. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. I, I'm told to do one, too. I don't know if we normally do two or not. Is this part of the dive pretty hands-off? Uh, it's, it's, it kind of requires a, a little bit of tweaking as you come up and, you know, watching the heading. A lot of things can go hairy, actually, during this point. Um, if you're not paying attention, you can get 
the vehicle's wrapped around the wire, and uh, the vehicles can collide, that sort of thing. So it is mostly hands-off, but you just have to be, pay attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this might be a, a good time for me to read a little passage yeah. from yeah. Um, Robin Wall Kimmerer. She's a citizen of the Potawatomi Nation. I hope I um, pronounced that correctly. Forgive me if I didn't. Who wrote this poem on how to respectfully cultivate a relationship with the environment. So know the ways of the ones who take care of you so that you may take care of them. Introduce yourself. Be accountable as the one who comes asking for life. Ask permission before taking. Abide by the answer. Never take the first. Never take the last. Take only what you need. Take only that which is given. Never take more than half. Leave some for the others. Harvest in a way that minimizes harm. Use it respectfully. Never waste what you have taken. Share. Give thanks for what you have been given. Give a gift in reciprocity for what you have taken. Sustain the ones who sustain you, and the earth will last forever. As we ascend through the Sea of Kanaloa, it's just a good reminder and reflection about the gifts that have been given to us as we explore the deep sea of Kanaloa. And we thank Robin Wall Kimmerer for that beautiful poem that is part of her book, Braiding Sweet Grass. Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you, Maria, for sharing that with us. Mahalo. Did Mahina? Um, I think she also said that. She did. She shared that with me. Yeah. So it's that beautiful. we could share it on all the watches. Yeah. No, I love it. It looks like it's at um, about 300 meters to surface. And then we hold position at surface. At surface? Yeah. So, I don't know, I, on the last cruise, we tend to not hold position and keep some forward way, like 14 knots. Okay. Or whatever we were streaming at. Um, especially in my weather like this. Slightly forward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, like, maybe 0.2 knots forward, when we get to the surface. Jake, have you uh, driven for a recovery before? Great. most important thing about recovery here, Tito, is critiquing whoever's pulling in the daisy chain. And that was me so, yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Are they bending over enough? Hand motion, is it efficient? Is there any readout that says what is our average speed? I got, I got high grades. I do. <laughs> yeah. It's just different corral, same rodeo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Malia, I wish you could play uh, ukulele right now <laughs> while we're coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we ever get on one that's going down or coming back up again, just bring it in strong. Yeah. You can say the the poem and break into song. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, that was cool. I don't even know what that is. I know, I'm trying to Bridge keep nav. My, oh, keep I just letting you know our expected uh, schedule here. We'd like, it's looking like we'll be on surface about 1945 and shooting to be on deck at about 2000. Thanks. So did we make it in time? Did we, we'll find did we out. do it in time? Okay, cool. Yay. Plus we get an over under on the recovery line or something. What is that that turbine? I don't know what that is. The bridge? What? Winch? What? Oh, uh, the Bobby Argus thing? Yeah. The what? Oh. <laughs> Bobby Argus. Bobby Argus. So, uh, we, uh, okay. uh, here, let me jump off SPL. Okay. So that's different than the daisy thing? Yeah, the daisy thing is just a thin line that's wrapped around the tether. Um, so they can, if they can grab that, we'll take a cover off target. And then they okay. put that in the crane together. Yes. You should go in here before the can on deck before a guy can set up the crane. Uh, that's not something they want to work on, though. <laughs> Isn't that something they were like, we don't want to, they didn't want to do the daisy chain or something? Yeah, but then they're, 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 Uh-oh. And they're trying to get out. Yeah, they're stuck in the cage. What? Oh, someone's trying to get out? What? What? <laughs> trying to get out. <laughs> oh yeah, you could have a good time in Vegas with that. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. So when we came in from the uh, Titanic cruise, we picked up we picked up 30 reporters on a small boat. Uh, the Asterius brought them out. Maybe not 30, but like a dozen. And they get on board and they start looking around and one of them says, so where's the wheels on the bottom of the van? They thought the van was what got lowered down to the, the control van. It was a single van. How's it roll on the bottom? <laughs> I hope they're listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another gust of gravity over here. No, watch out for those. Bobby Argus. Yep. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah.
Does that give you direction too? It, it, no, it's it normally does, but it's not significant enough to plot. There's uh, like a tiny vector right there. Okay. But it doesn't even show up on that scale. Wow. Well, so like that's a half a knot scale right there. That circle. Uh, we had somebody sitting nav once who was uh, very much a bookworm. I don't even remember who this individual was, and uh, really liked to overthink. Uh, every uh, every situation, come up with the solution. So I asked the individual during recovery, as we were ascending, I said, given our current sea state and the prevailing current and winds, where do you think Argus will be when it comes to the surface? And they spent quite some time working it and told me exactly, you know, 127 meters off the port, you know, and, you know, the exact distance, and I was like, pretty sure it's going to be at the end of that wire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, appreciate the math, but it's not there, on yep, not <laughs> anywhere. I don't think I've sailed this year with any of the uh, Coast Guard or uh, Naval Academy guys, first people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I'm haven't either. Out. Do you do about half the season or? Yeah. yeah. But I don't do like three months anymore. I do month on, month off kind of thing. Max six seven weeks. It's a lot more sustainable. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Last year I did a couple almost 60 day legs. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was just a little too much. I was doing much. 90s. Uh, I have 161 days this year. Wow. Which is down a bunch from where I was five years ago. This, this cruise brings me up to 151 days. Oh, that's just that's, about right. Yeah, I like yeah. that. The weird thing is the schedule has changed a bunch. Some legs have gotten longer, some have gotten shorter. But every time it gets, you know, sliced back up, uh, Dave, who's here when I'm not here, and I both have the exact same number of sea days. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it'll seem like he's got eight more. Well, not like we care, but my spreadsheet shows. And then something else changes, and we keep landing back to 161 and 161. I'm slated to take on the last two legs of the year, which are mapping legs. So the van's not used operationally except for the studio. So that really lets me dig in and do cable numbers oh, and nice. system yeah, drawings yeah. and all that. Yeah, 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 very productive legs. And I just work days. That's, that's you know, very human. Is, is the Ford 8 your favorite watch? Um, 4 to 8 and uh, 12 to 4, or uh, uh, not, uh, 8 to 12. They usually put me on the boss watch or whatever, but I really like this one. Sunrise, sunset. Yeah, to be honest, 8 yeah. to 12, to, uh, 4 to 8 doesn't really matter yeah, to me. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me either. Both are moderately civilized. And I uh, told Amber before this leg, she's lead. She makes the watch assignments. Put me wherever. Who does that? Uh, the lead video engineer, which is Amber on this leg. Oh, sure. So I'm saying on his second. So she did the watch assignments. But we, right. the, the main thing we really look at in doing watch assignments is not overburdening a pilot with a bunch of uh, interns or first leg sure. people. Yeah, it yeah. just becomes a lot to manage if you've got to be 
So you want to put the junior person on with the senior person. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's just, just balance it yeah. out, yeah. Just like we do with everything. So, now, uh, yeah. Uh, In the uh, old control van, the winch control lived between the co-pilot and video. That's actually a lot closer to it. Um, and so I was out with Will once, and Will had taken the intern we had on co-pilot, put them in the seat, given a bunch of guidance. We're just doing like a two kilometer transit over mud. And at one point he just turned to me and he points to the winch control. He's like, you got this? I like, do it all the time. I was like, yeah, I got it. And so this intern is just like very intently flying this, you know, mud transit. And the bottom just very slightly starts to come up. So she says, so the bottom's coming up a little bit. Should I stay in, you know, flying this manually or do I need to do auto altitude or anything? And she turns to look and it's me over here doing the winch. And she's just looking And Will's gone. Yeah, yeah. He's, gone down below and I was like you're doing fine keep flying it manual I got the winch same delta we're good but the, <laughs> the look on her face it was like going up to the cockpit of the plane and seeing nothing but monkeys in there yeah like what's the video guy where'd he go Will was coming out what six seven years yeah he's out here a bunch and then hey I thought he was done then he had those two uh, right you coming told back me. years yeah, yeah. Had to finish the house. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many stories that house actually is, but it's pretty high. What's that? I don't know how many stories that house is. But so it's he's it's it's two, and then he's got a peak upstairs. Yeah, yeah. And that was uh, that's been yeah. retasked nice. a few times. Yeah. Nice to have a low area like nice that. Nice spot up on high ground. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can see more than one house from his house. Oh, that's nice. It's nice, you know, yeah. neighbors a, a little distance away. I can uh, activate the blue sensor if you want. Oh yeah. Uh, here I uh, I got something going over here. I can throw in there. You got that? Hold on, let me check it over here. You do up on the blue? Yeah. 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 I um, got tired of messing with that thing over there, so this computer's on the intercom now. <laughs> so, nice. environmental so I'm thinking the only thing needs attention on Argus or excuse me on Atalanta is the camera camera lights yeah are we gonna yeah I guess we are gonna add some lights aren't we oh for the you're talking oh. about for the dive tomorrow right if, yeah. Yeah. Um, camera lights and then just tension. Are we doing a camera swap or? Uh, Bob see, seems to think the big zoos can fit, but that'd be awesome. We can that give it. A, we can give it a shot. Awesome. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I think so too. I think we have some yeah. time to do it. Yeah, I have very little control on this. Although on oh, the mini um, Zeus, the yeah. mini Zeus has a control program. 
Uh, we have a couple versions of it that live on engineering, but I okay. don't think the right one to talk to this. I uh, probably okay. have it over here. Um, but that gives you a little more control. Um, yeah. It's just difficult because... It'd, it'd be nice to have some lights like looking kind of forward instead of like all in the back yeah. looking down. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like when we, when we tilt it up, it's just dark. Yep. You know? uh, the second generation of that sled that Noah uses has twice the amount of lights as oh, Argus. Wow. They, uh, they did a whole nother bank of two sets. And uh, it's very nice. it's you can, I think I was telling you, Tito, that when you're flying D2, if you puppy off uh, and you turn around to get back underneath, you can actually, from the ROV, see the light pole. That you're, it's that bright that you're supposed to be under. So we never used these. We had Jimmy build a box. Oh, yeah. You should see the, I have a photo of it. Uh, the one that Ambari built for their new Super Duper camera. What do they got, a 4K nice. or a, a Blue uh, View or something? They or? have a Cinema 4K from Deep Sea Power and Light that is the penultimate oh, wow. uh, underwater camera. Uh, uh, DSP and L is building the second one right now, also for Ambari. Huh. Uh, Mark Chaffee, we've, we've been uh, development. We've been using a Sulis for quite a while now. Yeah, yeah. I want to say five or six years. Is that That's Adam, quite nice. Adam Gobi? Is that Adam Gobi, the head of Sulis? Solis is in St. John's, Newfoundland. Is it? Yeah, I think I so. I thought it was on uh, New Zealand or something like that. Uh, no, I think they're in St. John's. No kidding. I uh, didn't realize there was so much going on up there. Yeah. I know that he had something to do with Cameron's cameras. Yep. Or when he went deep. No, Pearl. You ever been to St. John's? What a oh, yeah. city. Oh, yep. my God. I love it there. Uh, my buddy, uh, Mike, um, the RV pilot's lives up there, went up there, uh, I don't know, 2018, 2019, in February, the only time ROV people get to get to, you know, see one another, not at work. I want to say I was up there in 16 or 17, we went in yeah. on the RV Marion. Ah, yeah, the old uh, little village of Quiddy Vitty up it's there. It's just so yeah. cool, and you know, it's surprisingly good food, you know, restaurants and such, yeah. and... Uh, Mike's got a uh, cabin out on, they call it a pond, it's a small lake, but they're all ponds there for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, we had a great time out there. Then uh, I think we had Yeah, I saw an iceberg in one of the harbors. Oh, cool. Hmm. What's that, Telegraph Hill there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was up there I think in 2018, I did a Celtic Explorer. Oh, cruise. cool. It was in port when we were there on the Marion. Yeah, okay. I guess it goes in there quite a bit. Yeah, it does. We do, you, you, do you know Will Hanley? I don't know. He worked with their ROV team for okay. quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, was a fun trip. It was just like a. Quick love transit love the city. To really Ireland. do. We, got, yeah. we ended up in Galway. That was cool. Oh, oh nice. yeah. It's yeah. a nice city. Yeah. That's where Dara's from. Yeah. Yep. Good music in Galway. Yeah. Good for pub crawl. <laughs> College town. So when I got home from St. John's, I ended up founding this, uh, it was kind of a private detective, almost like Rockford file show that was based in St. John's. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Oh, I can't cool. remember the name of it right now, huh. but uh, I'll pull it up. Huh. It was uh, interesting enough to watch. Yeah. The, uh, Kind of Newfoundland accent always reminds me of uh, cousins I have up in the northern part of Ireland in the Republic. They're kind of tight jaw, kind of friendly. Nice place. Our uh, dog still wears a dog collar from a shop in uh, St. John's. We've gone through a couple. Mike always brings me some, some more when we need them. Did he go up there with you, or he so, just got a call? You got a souvenir? No, no, just souvenir. That but was it's his T-shirt. It's a bunch of uh, like the houses and all the different colors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just quintessential St. John's. Although my friend who lived there, he's now up. St. John's was too uh, too metropolitan for him, so now he's up in Labrador. Holy <laughs> moly! Wow. What's next? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's going to yeah, go up to Green he's gonna Greenland. He's going to go move to Nook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a natural progression. 
It's actually really uh, gorgeous hiking trails right out of St. John's to the south. Well, actually in both directions. Yeah, in yeah, town there's there really great is. hiking, yeah. Yeah, it's a gorgeous coastline. Oh, full, full wide. Bridge Nav. I was just checking in on a few things. Um, the ADCP is just reporting a current, very light, 0 0.2 knots, uh, bearing of 100 or heading towards 100. Um, so, pretty minor. And I'm just checking with you if you're in a good, stable configuration for recovery. You're going to stay at this heading. Okay. Uh, pretty much, uh, it's at a hundred. Um, so pretty much right between your wind and current vector you're seeing on the DP. Okay, that sounds good. Um, and do you have tank secured? Thank you. I haven't seen anyone on deck yet, but it looks like the poles are rigged. I was on, I don't know what vessel it was, but they had the carbon fiber poles. Oh, those are beauty. Not that expensive. Huh. Either. Yeah. And they are kind of nice, a little stiffer. Yeah. Hi there. How's it going? Pretty good, I think. So, I was just checking in with the bridge on securing tanks and the fans, tuggers. I haven't asked for the captain. Is that a good time to do that now? Or? Yeah, yeah. So, around 400 meters, that's all good. Probably won't be. Looks like they're fixing their final thing. Yeah. Go ahead. And then switch to radio comms. Pretty straightforward. So I was thinking like a little bit of headway when we we're doing recovery, like point two. Yeah, I got a point three. Okay. Go ahead, Ridge. Okay, sounds good. Uh, is the aft dex fan secured as well? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go off comms and switch to radio. Thanks.
Is the guy on the bridge literally wearing a headset? No, we have a, a wall mount, a, a key panel up there. Different mates like to get different distances from it. He's pretty far away. There's one. Uh, there's a wall mount on the bridge. There's a desk mount in the lounge and in the data lab, and on uh, the video engineer desk. Is it time to let uh, Ken know? Because I he's just on this deck. I could go tell him that we're at 300 meters. You should be able to see it on the. Uh, oh yeah, that's true. Never mind. Social deck. Yep. Yep. I forgot about that. I'm going to go and switch over to launch and recovery, Salvo, Ed. Copy. Bridge nav. So we'd like to uh, do track align, your current heading, 0 0.3 knots. Thank you. <laughs> I need a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Two fifty. Two five zero. Well, the science is still back there. They have not abandoned us. Well done, science. Yeah, solidarity, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally as soon as we're off bottom, it's like, meep, meep, and meep. they're out of here, yeah. <laughs> Finished uh, your uh, Crucible book recommendation, and I'm tempted with uh, volume two. I don't know if that's any good, Mike, or not. Crucible is really good, though. So I recognize the music, but I cannot think of the, the artist. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about, uh, but I would think, oh, it's just still the same. It hasn't changed, it's been the same thing the whole time. Uh, hold on, I can jump off here. There you go, yeah. yeah. Tied to the whipping post. Yeah. Wow. And we are at. Is this live at Fillmore? Something like that? Yeah. Two zero zero meters. Which two zero our zero. Math says eight more minutes. I don't know if that's true or not. That's not to 50 meters, that's to zero, right? Yeah. 
We were stopping at what, 7.5 on the 1C? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a long dizzy chain. I think just overall, Trevor still has about the best form. Big, big long reach, very fast. Anaerobic exercise. Republic of Doyle was the name of that TV show. Oh. Huh. And it was it was pretty good. I'm going to put that on my what to watch list here. It's a series? Yeah. He had a great car, like a 69 Le Mans or something like that. Oh, man. Say that name again? Republic of Republic Doyle? Republic of Doyle. Yep. Got it.
So do you switch over to radio for the recovery? Uh, I put radio on SPL, but I stay on intercom. I have radio here, though. <laughs> and I focus on troubleshooting. You, uh, I don't know if you have it on your key panel, but you can actually talk on radio from the intercom, too. Uh, it should be now. The two channels are set up. I can try it if you want. All right, just passing 65 meters, getting Roger. ready to stop. Securing operational conversation. Blue's secured. Radio's hot. Passing 60. Fed 3 is now fed with Kim. All right, 55. Wire. Cameras and auto iris. I'll stop to 50 meters. Five seven meters. Deck nav. Go ahead, Ev. Letting you know we're at all stop at 50 meters. Copy that. We're doing our deck talk and we'll be moving. Make sure they're where, where we're at. Nav radio check. How's the uh, how's the HP pressure been? Yes, doing? Like seeing any dumps? For confirming, I hear you. Do you copy what they? Copy. Nice
bridge, bridge, back deck. Are we clear to continue with this recovery? And, uh, anything I need to know for like the last few Charlie minutes? Charlie to recover instruments. Okay, copy that. Now we are starting the recovery. Copy that. You, you might be able to tilt that camera a little more forward to... Well, uh, isn't it tilted down a little? Argus? No, uh, I had a lamb it. Is that all right? Okay. I can also secure thrusters on Atalanta. That's all you do is turn the key. And where does the key? Where does the key go? And that's just underneath the ladder way going up to the social deck. Yeah, you go through that hatch and then inboard. It says 60 hertz closet on the hatch. Do I take hatch. a radio or anything with me? Or? No, you just come out And when do I go do that? Just as soon as it's up in the crane? Control van, Hercules at the surface, directly behind us. Field goal. Copy that. Where's Cam Wire up there? Maybe it's not up there. Oh, it's all the way over on the right. It's a nice view on Cam Wire as that Atlantic comes out of the water and they put the tag lines on. Never, never seen that view before. No. It's oh, right never, up. We never see it as well from uh, Medea. We don't have cameras pointing. Jack Winch, uh, can you get Jacob on the other side of that pole in line? Wow. Uh, no, he's on the Adelante is on the surface. Boy, I shouldn't have to watch that. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Just not used to it. Oh my god. Yeah. Atlanta's out of the water. Copy. Atlanta out of the water.
My apologies. Where does the key go? It's hanging there. It's on a string. I don't know if we have another one of those. No red buttons, just the key. Yep. Is your chains loose? Or not loose, but detached from the. Uh... What's that thing called? The BP. Whatever that is. It does look that way. Huh. It does. They could zoom, but they can still see it better. Let me try and get a shot of it. Oh, there you go. How's that? Fixed it. is 15 feet off the stern. Copy that. We have eyes on it.
Hercules, pass turn. Copy that. Are you doing a figure eight with that or just coiling it? Okay, we're lifting Hercules out of the water. Copy. Camera's clear. RV dry. Alright. Hercules is out of the water. The voltage is secured. Copy that.